Hope you're doing great. This is Ayub Gurafi from Interactive Bench. In today's video, we're going to discover together how to craft advanced multi layered parallax effect in Adobe Experience Design by recreating this shot experience by Denis Snellenberg. Uh, whether you want to learn it from scratch or you already have grasp on how it works, but looking forward to master it, just bear with me for a moment and trust me, you're gonna love Love it. So buckle up and get ready. Hello again folks, so if you don't know what does the parallax word stand for, don't panic because it basically means make the background and the foreground move in the same direction with slightly different speeds, which creates an illusion of depth in a 2D scene. Some people call it the 2.5D thanks to the sense of immersion that it gives in a virtual experience. Uh, anyways, if you still struggle to figure it out, let's see it in action. In this After Effects composition, I try to make it very obvious by creating a simple 2D scene with seamlessly colored background and foreground. So right here, let's take a closer look at our camera view. Here we see how much this space exists in between the two grounds. In the other hand, in this flat front view, which is the active camera view, we can't actually feel the difference in between the two grounds in Z space. But wait for it. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you see what just happens right there, guys? No? So let me break it down to you. When we move the camera from the bottom to the top or the other way around and observe the difference of distance traveled by our two grounds, after a certain amount of time, we're gonna notice that the background travels a little more slowly than the foreground, but we can feel the depth in between the two grounds. So this is just another example with more layers in between the two grounds. And here we can easily feel the depth due to the multiple levels of speed that we have. Okay, let's start crafting. To make things easy, you're gonna have to isolate your different layer by masking them in Photoshop. There is endless ways and workflows to mask things in Photoshop, but in this tutorial, we're gonna cover one simple yet effective way, which depends only on the pen tool. I know the pen tool scares a lot of people, but don't worry, in this tutorial, the mask's shapes doesn't have to be perfect since we have to mask sharp buildings and it doesn't require working with the curves either so we're gonna be fine. Here we go. Let's start a new 9020 by 1080 Photoshop document. Drag and drop our parallax picture and let's grab the pen tool by clicking the icon of the pen tool or just hit P in the keyboard. And start drawing point around our presumably foreground don't try to get really precise with it. Simple shapes. Again, while drawing your mask, keep in your head that you're isolating the front layer or your basic foreground. And now let's close our mask shapes right here and the top menu just hit the mask button. To make the second layer, duplicate the layer by right clicking on its name, duplicate layer. Then you have to delete uh, the mask by right clicking on the mask, delete vector mask. Repeat the process again. I know you're gonna die of boredom watching me doing this for a long time again and again. So I already mask out my layers. As you see, try to imagine the multiple layer of depth, then mask it out accordingly. So this is my mask layer. Finally, 
Once you finish this process, before saving your file as a PSD, make sure to give each layer a different name, just a name that makes sense, cause naming layers, it's a key thing in XD animations. So let's name our layers from the foreground to the background. I'm gonna go with something like level one, level two and level three. Finally, let's jump into Adobe Experience Design. First thing you need to do is, of course, import your PSD file. So as you see, guys, so right here, we have our layers nicely named and organized. All you have to do is firstly duplicate your artboard by holding the Alt key and dragging the artboard by its name. Why do we need this? Simply because we want a certain scene and an ending one. For the rest of the work, Experience Design can do we told like magic by auto animating the changes from its first state arriving to the end destination. Now in our reference scene, there is like a down scrolling to recreate that. Just firstly move the hole to the top like this. Then let's cover it by a rec black rectangle shape. Actually, let's overlap the rectangle to the top until it cover like the lower quarter part of our scene. Then let's change the fill color to a linear gradient, a black gradient, decrease the top opacity like this. Let's drag our gradient to the top until it covers the top of the scene. Make sure guys to group all your scene layers in one group so that it make life easy for you to edit it. Now to achieve the parallax effect we have to move our front layers in a higher y position as we go through the background uh, the changes became subtle so let's begin i'm gonna move the first layer a little bit when you get to the middle of the layers you can start moving layer down a last thing to do before getting done with the design part create the same rectangle in our first uh, artboard so that it animates in between to make it right down take off all the opacity now let's start prototyping switch over the prototype mode click on the name of our first artboard click on the blue tab drag it over the second artboard for our animation we're gonna choose the time as a trigger i give it something like 0.5 seconds for the action of course auto animate is it in and out nice and simple choose a little long duration like a 2.5 seconds and voila there you have it guys a fancy parallaxy effect in adobe xd so thanks guys for watching uh, definitely let me know if you want me to cover something special on adobe experience design from ui designing to interaction prototyping i hope you enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe also click the notification icon to follow my latest tutorial tips and tricks this is ayub Gurafi from interactive bench peace